yeah hello guys you are highly welcome this is your guy nobuti fashion a lot of people have asked me to make a tutorial on how to sew this particular dress but i'm telling you that i'm bringing you that uh, tutorial right now this design was inspired by at the re on point so without wasting any of your time let's jump into the video so the first thing you have to do is to cut the kaftan like this so you cut it the normal way you normally cut the senator dress and this is the back with the, this is the front i've already cut the neckline normal way we, you will cut the senator neckline so this is the way you can cut the neck so you have to measure this one from the person's neck wherever you want the opening to end so just measure it from the neckline to the chest and then you give it a little shape like this and then you reduce the wideness of the extend the wideness of the neck with like a half inch so it's like a 0 0.5 and then you also mark a 0 0.5 from the back also so just trace it out like this and then you you do the cutting so you won't believe how simple and easy this uh, style is is until i finish it so i want you to make sure that you watch the end so that you don't miss uh, any part of it so just cut the front open like this and that is all so this is the material that i will use for the front so i use a velvet for this uh, black so i've cut it into two i double fold it like this and then i apply st at the middle then you also apply aiming gum on the edge so the wideness is a 1.7 so that is the wideness of this so here it is so i will apply st at the middle like this inside it then i'll double fold it like this then i apply aiming gum in between so that is why you are not seeing the opening so i've applied aiming gum there so that will be very easy when i'm stitching it so this is the second material i also did the same thing here i've applied aiming gum inside it also to secure the edge so and the wideness of this is like a 0 0.6 so that is the wideness of this so you apply aiming gum inside this then you just close it and this is the back uh, back piece so i've also applied the st on it and then i fold it so just to reduce the back piece also and that is it so now the first thing you have to do is to join the shoulder so you lay the back like this so this is the wrong side of the material and then you lay the right side on it then you place the right side on the front also that is of the back piece then you stitch it from the neckline so make sure you are stitching it from the neckline and not from the shoulder so once, once you do this you turn it to the other side you place the second side there please if you are here to give this video a thumbs up please help me do that and make sure you subscribe to this channel and you also turn on your notification bell and i urge you not to skip any part of this video because there is a mistake that I made here and I also show you how to avoid the, that mistake and be able to come out with a nicer result. So just stitch it the edge like this. And when you are stitching here make sure that the stitches is very straight and then the stitches also fall at the edge that is very important make sure that the stitches fall at the end and then you follow the you follow it all through and that is it so the next thing you have to do here now is to proceed to the table iron and this back uh, slits now i have a video on it on how to achieve that i will leave the link in the description uh, box below or at the end of this uh, video so now you take one side of the front after you have uh, ironed the shoulder line like that and then you place the first uh, 
first uh, pieces we cut and then look, make sure you look at the way I play this uh, presser foot you can see that the edge of the presser foot fall at the edge of these uh, pieces and then you stitch it all through make sure that these stitches is uh, very straight follow it all through like this if I yet to subscribe to this channel please help me do that this doesn't cost you anything and then for you to be able to enjoy a whole lot of these videos on this uh, channel and for you to be able to be part of a noble family so thank you for doing that and help me give this video a thumbs up as well so just sew it all through like this and then make sure that uh, the presser foot fall on the edge and once you get to this other end that is it so you place this uh, velvet so i use velvet for this black so you place it on it like this and then you turn it to the back and then you also take a good look at the way i'm uh, stitching here and how i place the presser foot you can see that the first side of the presser foot so you see the results so that is it so you can see that the distance here is not up to like a 0 0.2 so, and then the presser foot here come across the first uh, stitches that i have here so make sure you do this uh, gently don't rush i only for this video so that this uh, video will not be too long so make sure that you take your time to do this so that you are able to achieve a good result and all the line at the edge will be able to equal all true so just follow it all through like this and that is it so now the next thing to do here now is to proceed to the table and do the ironing after you do the ironing then you do to the you weave the edge so you weave the edge so you can see the results now so there's something that i said i will show you so make sure you watch that area it's very very important So here is this after I've already pressed it and I've also weaved the edge. So that is the edge now. See the line. And this is the this is the weaving. This is it after I've already weave it. Then you press place it like this. Then you set the two place it on each other and make sure that the boots line is uh, showing in the front make sure that both line are showing and place it on each other like this then you measure that eight inches which where the opening will end you measure it on the front and then use of this pin to secure it so this is the mistake that i made this is the mistake that i did here so i use of this pin to secure it and I did not achieve the desired results when I was uh, sewing it. So I will show you when I get to the sewing machine. So then you can fix it to your head to see whether it will easily enter it or not. So I just stitch it like this. And as I was stitching it, the velvet was, was uh, stretching. So it's not uh, giving me a perfect uh, result so i have to lose it i have to lose these stitches that i did here and i also start from the from the front that is from the neckline and i was able to sew it from up to down and when i get to the down i also discover that <laughs> i couldn't get a good result also so I'm just showing you all this 
they'll be able to know the perfect and the easiest way to achieve a good result so you can see this uh, folding and then you can see that one side is longer than the other so i have to lose it again that is it and that is one of the way to achieve a good result so i have to lose it again and then i apply aiming gum i use aiming gum to secure it and this give me a perfect uh, result and i was able to sew it without having any issue at all so i just stitch it from up to down and that is all so don't apply don't use a of paint to secure it just use a aiming gum once and for all and then you'll be able to achieve a good result and that is it so now the next thing to do now is to prepare the sleeve so the whiteness of this is a 2.2 after i've already fold the the edge here and this the this is the remaining part of the material that i will use here oh i'm sorry i haven't fold the edge here so just sew it straight on it so you just press it when you finish sewing it and then you turn it like this and then you also press it and this is the back of the sleeve and this is the right side and so just notch the center of both the sleeve and the pieces we are using to fold the sleeve so this sleeve measurement i just got it on the normal measurement and then i add a 0.5 to the edge for the stitches so just sew it from the back with a 0.5 and then you proceed to the table and do the ironing like this then you just press it like this and use aiming gum and this is it after i've pressed it and then use aiming gum to secure the edge so this place is open and then i use aiming gum inside it and then you stitch it straight down Take the edge that is on the black so that is it so you cut the excess and then you do the same thing on this uh, other one also just press it like this and this is it after i've done the second one as well and then the next thing to do is just to fix the sleeve and then do the other necessary things and this is the way i prepare this uh, pieces that is the style on the edge on the chest rather so this is it after i've already done the finishing i've ironed it and this is the other sleeve also you can see how nice and beautiful the result is so this side piece, this piece is now a cut a gum stay and then I fold the edge and secure it with a aiming gum. So I will need to reduce that, uh, that pieces because I am seeing that it's a bit long. So then you use a cover button and then you place it on the middle. And that is it. So this is now I will use the aiming gum to secure it and then stitch it all around. Then you place the the place the button on it like this, and here is the result. So you can see that it's just simple and easy, very straightforward, even for a total beginner to achieve a good result. Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button if you haven't uh, done so. so. And thank you for watching. Till the next time that i'm bringing you another amazing video like this again i say thank you for watching and then bye for now